Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today to talk to you a little about, bit about flower leaves. The sample card I have for you today is one that I've created um, with some flowers that I've cut out from the beautiful Petal Promenade Designer Series paper. And this paper right now is a free gift with any $50 or more order. Um, and that only lasts until March 31st, 2019. So if you like it, be sure to get your order in. at, um, And you can find my uh, shop at my website, prettypapercards.com, and I'll also put a link down below. Now, for these leaves, I've used our wonderful Leaf Punch, which is one of my really go-to punches. I keep it handy all the time. And I've punched leaves and I've tucked them up under the flowers and I'm going to show you how to do that today. But I'm going to use a different designer series paper. And the one I'm using today is another one that's available during celebration, Painted Seasons designer series paper. And I've fussy cut these flowers. That means cut by hand with my trusty paper snips. Here are my paper snips. These are the best scissors for cutting out. I love my paper snips. So I've cut out three flowers and I'm going to show you um, actually how I create the flowers and get the leaves to stand up. Now the first thing I do is I put my flowers up on Stampin' Dimensionals. And this is just going to be a sample today. I'm not going to recreate that card. I'm just going to do a little sample of how we how you would insert the leaves. So I'm going to put my flowers up on Stampin' Dimensionals, lifting them up a little bit from the surface. So I'm just going to make a cluster here of three flowers. And then we're going to begin to make the leaves. I'm just going to tuck them kind of around one another in a little cluster like that. Okay. Now, taking our trusty um, leaf punch. I'm going to punch leaves in the same colors and manner that I did for the sample card. And I'm using Granny Apple Green cardstock and Vellum cardstock. And we're going to just make a couple, make about two or three uh, punches. So this is a one and a half inch strip. This leaf punch works on a one and a half inch strip. It doesn't take much paper. And this is how I punch upside down. So, I, so that I be sure, I'm sure to get it lined up correctly. So I'm going to punch out three of these, just in case I need three. It might just be two. And I'm going to punch out three from the vellum, just like that. Okay. Whoops. Now let's see how we might want to arrange our leaves. So I'm going to stick them down under like that and just to, just to see how I want to arrange them. And that is pretty cute, isn't it? I kind of like that and then I might stick the vellum in and around. Now I'm going to also give you a couple of tips on what to do, how to make these leaves be three-dimensional. One thing I do is I like to crease them in the center and because I have my long nails, I can just, it doesn't have to be really, you know, perfect because we know leaves aren't leaves fold and have veins in all different directions. So I'm just going to fold those up a little bit in the center and just to give them a little bit of um, dimension, three-dimensional, right? Now another thing you can do with your leaves um, is that you can curl your leaves. And I've brought my bone folder here and we can just curl the leaves by holding firmly to the place where the leaf meets the stem and then just very gently curling up with your bone folder. And that will give them another dimension, another type of dimension. And I like to do that because it really makes my card, my flowers and leaves look like they're just pop popping right off, the, right off the page. And the way I do this is just with my Tombow liquid glue. That's all I do. I usually put a little bit on the top and the bottom and I just slide my leaves under there, being very careful not to get the glue on the flowers. So I'm just gonna do that all the way, all the way around. Now, 
sometimes you may want to cluster your leaves on one side and the other rather than all the way around. And you're just gonna determine that by how you like your card. And you see I'm, I'm really scooching those leaves down under there, okay? And then we'll do our third one. I'll, I think on the other one I forgot to put some glue underneath, but I'll do it on this one. It'll usually catch on something and glue down inside there. I'm just gonna tuck those down under. This one I think I might just give a little, a little tweak. Okay, now the green ones are under. Now, for these, the vellum ones, and whoops, I do this, um, I just decide how I want them to be. Uh-oh, I pulled that little one off trying to curl it. And that's okay too because Sometimes I just want a few little, I might not want all three leaves to poke out, so that's fine. Now here, I feel like the end of the stem is too long, so I'm just gonna trim it off there with my paper snips. And I'm gonna put my glue a little under and on the top, and I'm gonna tuck that in. In fact, it looks like I have kind of a lot of glue. I'm just gonna rub some of that off on my grid paper. And then I'm just gonna slide that down under like that and turn it a little to the side so it's just a little bit offset. And this really isn't a science, nothing is perfect. It's just kind of arbitrary. But I think it that's part of what gives it such a nice little look. I'm gonna try to curl these without pulling any leaves off the stem. And I'm gonna trim the, the end of that stem a little bit. And we'll see how, sometimes I like to tuck it in so some of the leaf is showing on top. Let's see if we can do that this time. And I'll show you what I mean. So right here, I'm gonna try to tuck that, I can even lift the, the side, and I'm gonna try to tuck that in so that part of the leaf is up on top there, on top of this flower. And where you get your, your glue showing, I just usually, you might want to use some type of instrument like your scissors. You might want to use to try to, while the glue's wet, I just kind of move it off so that nobody can see it on the outside. And when it dries, you won't even notice. And then we'll put our final one on here. You really, it, it's really easy to do this. You can cover up lots of mistakes if you happen to get, say, a blob of glue over here. The nice thing about this is you could put a vellum leaf on top and nobody would see. Believe me, I've made plenty of mistakes and still do. So let's see if we can tuck this one up under. Sometimes I don't need to lift the flower, but if I can lift it, I like to. There we go. There's a little glue showing right there so I can tuck the leaf further under if I want to. Look at that. We have a really nice cluster of flowers and leaves and that just took us, what, about two or three minutes, right? Isn't that darling? And what I've done here today is I've put it on a piece of Whisper White cardstock cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And this is usually what I use on top of my card base, which is just a quarter of an inch wider on all sides here. And then I can do whatever else I want. I can put a sentiment. Um, I, I might have, if I were making a real card, I might have had a different um, piece here. I might have had, had an embossed piece. But isn't that just sweet? And with it being spring, I know you're gonna be making a lot of cards with flowers, and I wanted to show you how to use our fabulous leaf punch. I have all the links down below the video, and I, I hope that you'll uh, stop by my blog at prettypapercards.com and click my Shop Now button. And if you like any of these products, I hope that you'll shop with me. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.